We're here, and it's time to game. We're gonna finish up this druid and theory craft the rest of this build Why and find some more cool shit, hopefully. Work. Make Jeff pay. Suck it, Bezos. Very nice. Round of applause. God damn, I got the hands of a goddamn lizard. Look at these things. No hand washing, no gloves, no nothing. Round of applause. So yeah, I think, uh, so we figured out this druid build yesterday that I'm pretty excited about. I woke up in the middle of the night like a raisin. I was like, like literally like SpongeBob in Sandy's like air bubble. So the plan is we're gonna work on this druid a little more. Everybody says druids suck, but I say no. I have a build. This amulet, we found a mallet or a mace or something with the imprint critical strikes with storm skills, a i.e. what I use as my main attack, storm strike, charge the air around you for 2.1 seconds, causing a lightning strike to periodically hit an enemy in the area for 320 lightning damage. This duration can be extended by additional critical strikes. And that combined with this, the Vine Creeper, which your critical strike chance is increased by 20% against enemies strangled by the Vine Creeper. Between the Vine Creeper, my normal stats, and my Storm Strike jumping between targets, the chances of a critical hit are super fucking high because this storm strike, this storm ability is procking constantly when I'm in combat, thus activating this machine. I don't know why I called it a machine amulet <laughs> with the increased critical strike here, making it so there is an eternal lightning storm surrounding my druid. And my God, that combined with the AOE damage of the Ravens, the AOE damage of the hurricane. We've got this to survive brutal attacks. My God, we got ourselves a build. So druid needs a specific item to be decent then. Yep, but you know, I have it and <laughs> I don't care. If you do find this uh, proc, or sorry, this proc, that like fills in the gaps of damage where Druid might be a bit lacking. And if you combine this with what I described, that thing's procking all the time. What we do is crush this up, take out the aspect and then put it on something else. So I'm thinking maybe we put it on here. This Great is an to option too. With the extra AOE that I've got going on and this lightning proc, it's actually super sick, you'll see. You'd go with the willpower. It's like not that much more damage, but yeah, we would be losing a lot of willpower. Or we could just stick with this. It's like more DPS. What I definitely want to do though is, God, I wish I could keep the stats of this because this amulet is so fucking good. But I really want the, um, the magical bubble thing for a little bit of defense. I'm gonna suck that ability out of these boots. We will suck this out of the boots. And we will put it on. And this goes on shield, helm, chest armor, boots, gloves. This is a pretty good helmet, I think. Let's just throw it on there. Look at that. And now it looks different too. It looks kind of cool, actually. Round of applause, why not? Yesterday, everyone was saying the DPS I have is so the much more important. Of but I'm not Bell sure. Twi See? <laughs> that poor rabbit. This is the lightning storm I'm talking about. Look, although we're not critting. We gotta get the vines out. All right, all right, keep your pants out. We need, we need more mob density in order to really demonstrate the build. Look at that lightning just coming down, smacking stuff, hitting that poor little rabbit. See? Between that and the lightning bolts, we're always doing that fat damage. And then if we maintain all this stuff, I'm around me. I'm on ICU nights all week starting tomorrow. See? We're whacking. We're fat thwacking, smacking. See that Just lightning? The beta last Crazy. What do the yellow dots mean? Does this mean it's a dungeon that I hadn't previously cleared? You think? I don't... I don't know why they would that would even be a thing. I think it means I just haven't been to it on this character. But what I'd really like to see is like um, PvP and then maybe like, you know, a zone where you go to PvP or like, you know, there's like open world PvP, but really sick loot or something as a reward for going into the PvP zone. 
maybe like it could be like an all gear drop in a certain zone or arena or something so winner takes all that would be fucking sick yeah all of these things are very exciting concepts that i hope end up coming to be in the game mobility does suck with the druid though i could do charge but i don't think it's worth it i'd rather more aoe and charge also like knocks everyone out of the way which is like counterproductive to like what i'm trying to do i want everyone around me taking crazy damage will 30 ooh 34 willpower power Critical strike damage, overpower damage, core skill damage. This has a lot of overpower, the pulverize. This actually might be a weapon that we end up using to replace blood howl. This does bulwark and lightning damage. That could be good. Damage reduction from close enemies, blood howl. The poison resist is good though on this. There's a lot more armor though, but it looks terrible. Fuck it. Arena or Battlegrounds with this style of game would play would be epic. Yeah, Zillier, this is like what I want to see. Will they deliver this? I don't know. Um, that's what they said they were going to do in Diablo 3. I haven't touched Diablo 3 in the longest time. In fact, I never played a version of it that even had PvP. Does that game have PvP in it now? When the lightning doesn't proc though, it's like not as amazing, but it's usually procced. Swinging for everyone, no procs. Well, the problem is you kind of need, there it goes. You kind of need like a lot of enemies to like guarantee it to proc. Like at least a few, cause it, cause it jumps between enemies, you see. And that's what makes it like decent in my opinion. But I don't know. I mean, I haven't tried Necro or Sorcerer yet. Like the other, the other class that I'm sort of comparing this to is Barbarian, which we know is a bit lacking in the damage department. Necro is S tier. Well, we're gonna try Necro today and then we'll see if this really does suck <laughs> or not. I think this is like actually quite solid. Two-handed mace, I like that potentially. It does more DPS, but I think my current weapon is better. God damn it. Good thing we're not hardcore. Round of applause. You didn't see anything. That never happened. Single target damage is hurting. You think? That was a particularly strong boss, though. That was a boss, keep in mind. Damn, this thing is strong. Yeah, see, the, you got the lightning going, and it's... It's hitting. It's not... Not horrible. Sushi Sunday? That sounds so good, actually. God damn. You might have single-handedly just caused me to potentially have sushi for dinner maybe tonight. The lightning do be bussin'. Yeah. Bussin' is a good thing, right? I go on the internet. Get in. Lightning. Look at that. Bustin' without the T? Who the fuck says that? I've been around like 35 years. I've never once said this sandwich is busting. How did this happen? What is happening in this dungeon? Am I done with it? Finna is like gonna, but I don't know why. <laughs> I think that's like uh, Keck instead of lol. Well, no, Keck is lol and orcish from World of Warcraft. That's like um, pwned. Finna is like, that came to be from what I understand in the same way as like pwned instead of owned. It's like a typo that someone wrote Finna instead of gonna except you're just sli switched over on like your keyboard a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's where that came from. I should be an anthro anthropologist because I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. No, you're being old. No, but I'm right. You're old. I understand it better than you. You just heard some other kids say it. I actually broke it down and deciphered the meaning. <laughs> Shut up, dad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this lightning gonna kill this guy so I can open this chest and get this earth staff. Let's go. Jesus Christ, Griff. This was not an Algalan moment and you know it. Yo, that's not bad. I'm not smelly. My hair might smell a little like grilled chicken or something today, but I am not smelly. Thank you very much. Holy crap, where'd all you fuckers come from? I don't give a damn. Why, why can't I move? I 
couldn't move at all. That was a glitch, I think. I literally couldn't move my character and do anything. Now that you guys have made fun of how greasy my hair is, maybe I should put a hat on today. What do you think? We got a key. Some sort of mechanical bee spy. What movie is that? Richie Rich. That's it. Hexloom, you're right. Richie Rich. Now that's a goddamn movie. You guys see Richie Rich? I've never seen it, but watch some parodies on the hub. Of Richie Rich? Are you kidding? That's a sh that's a movie about a rich child starring Macaulay Culkin. What the hell? <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you talking about another movie? I'm not ready yet. Gotta start getting these lightning procs going. There we go. I must wait. What happened? You fall asleep or something? What's going on? What's the point of gear durability in Diablo? It's just a way to make you spend money and like make it so you can't just throw yourself at a boss. Right, we got some clear, we, we're clearing shit. You know what I'm saying? Look at that lightning. We're going crazy out here. I am quite pleased with this uh, druid. With the lightning, pretty good. Whoa, let's go. Chest armor. Is 60 months five years? What's 12 times five? Yeah, I think it is. God damn. Rank of Earthen Bulwark. We'll give that up for all this. Debilitating Roar. I wonder what that does. This thing is sick. Debilitating Roar. Shapeshift and Werebear. Bellow a mighty roar. Reducing enemies damage dealt. Nah, we're good. Exploiters. Adventures tunic. Exploiters. Like us. Exploiting the druid class with such a strong build. Round of applause. Genius. I'm pushing that button a lot today. Get used to it. But yeah, try hard. I just want to uh, finish, get this guy to max level, and then I'm ready to play if you are. But look at this try hard. This lightning storm, crucial, critical strikes with storm skills in the air around you for 2.1 seconds cause a lightning strike to peri periodically hit the an enemy in the area for 320 lightning damage. This can be extended by additional critical strikes. That combined with storm strike, which I have to hit like five enemies. And then this, which your critical strike chance is increased by 20% strangled by vine creeper. All that together, that shit is proccing constantly. Therefore, the lightning is constantly coming down and it does crazy pog damage. I love this build I've, I've theory crafted and got really lucky on because I found an item that did this. Pop out the vine and it's going. It's just going, it just goes. I don't even have to do anything. It strikes so fast. See, if there's enough enemies around, it's just like constantly going. That combined with this AOE damage, we're cooking. We're absolutely cooking. What are we even doing in this place? Oh yeah, we have a quest here. And this stuff, these guys are strong. A lot of health. Okay. Willpower, rank of wolves, life regen. Okay. We have to work on our transmog a little. Not that I like transmogging, but since it's here, we might as well use it, right? So dark and darker canceled now. I mean, I guess we have to wait and see. But isn't that so disappointing, you know? 
God forbid a good game comes out and is allowed to be released. You know what, even, what sucks even more? I missed the latest play test, which looked fucking awesome. I never got to play it. As long as that lightning keeps hitting, we're good. We're gonna burn them down, no problem. A lot of damage. Crag hammer. 14 critical strike, crowd controlled enemies, vulnerable damage. Oh god. Is this the place with the uh, boss? I have not found the butcher yet, which sucks. Well, let's fight this boss with my new build that's Pog. Let's see how quickly I can kill it. It gave me so much trouble before. Time to do that. Now nah, we're good on the wolves. Agree with me or disagree? Like with this lightning, I think it really kind of like ties ties the build together. It is a bit, you know, RNG dependent, but it's happening enough. Cause I feel like everybody's saying Druid sucks. Maybe it does in comparison still, but seems okay to me. Go this way real quick. Eleven willpower, earthen bulwark, and two empty sockets. Thirty-two thorns. I think this is better than what I'm wearing, to be honest. What do you guys think? The thirty-two thorns is actually quite nice, and then the uh, the two sockets. Oh shit. Did I have full heals when I went into this fight? Oops. The damage is not bad. Watch this. I was going into it way too blase before. Now, watch and learn. Get up, you little freak. I must wait. No problem. I feel like we're we're okay. Diablo okay. Forms. You wanna do you guys wanna try Necro now and compare and contrast? I feel like this build is essentially done. Barf Necro, hundred <laughs> percent. Do Necros barf on stuff? That's badass. Hello. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, or hit that bell thing if you really want to go nuts. Also, please check out the description uh, for the people who help make this channel possible. I couldn't do it without them. We upload every day. And if you want to support the team a little bit further, uh, consider being a member. Uh, it's just a small amount for uh, extra videos, extra content, some other fun bonuses as well. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.